Hello everyone, welcome to the first of many of this uh, series where I'm going to be documenting my weight loss journey this time around. So uh, before I explain to you my journey and what I'm doing and everything, let me just give you a brief uh, background of where I'm coming from with this. You know, this is not my first time. So I... Growing up, I was actually labeled a skinny girl. And skinny, not in a good way, in a nice way, like bony. Everybody would say, you're so bony. And I felt very insecure because my sister was very healthy. She liked to eat and she looked healthy. So everyone would say, this is the healthy one and you're just bony. And I never used to like food for some reason. If it wasn't sweet or very nice and savory, I wasn't going to eat it. So somewhere along the line, I just, you know, started eating real food, chicken, fish, uh, veggies. I fell in love with all different uh, kinds of vegetables and, and, and stuff. And my mom just came up with ways of cooking food that made me like it. So as I got into my teenage years, I actually gained a healthy amount of weight. And I wasn't fat, uh, but I was not skinny. I was just looking healthy. So, uh, when I went, I was at boarding school until about 16 years. I was 16 years old. So, um, I just couldn't live that life anymore. And I asked my parents to come home to do my A-level. That's when I really started struggling, but I can't say struggling, but I saw my body change because we had a very long break between, um, there was a transition before I went for my A-level. So that was a very long break and I was just at home. I'm pretty much a homebody. I don't go anywhere. I enjoy my time at home. If you give me, at the time I would joke and I would say, give me my phone and three of the remote controls for the DVD player, the uh, DSTV decoder and the TV remote and I am fine all day. I'm not going to get up. And I would just be eating and my mom had a small takeaway in town. So a lot of the food would be kept at home. So you can imagine the life that I was living, just eating, eating, eating. And then I gained a lot of weight again. I didn't weigh myself, but I was pretty big at the time. But I can't say I was like morbid, morbidly obese, but I was definitely obese. As soon as I got back into my school schedule and just started living more active lifestyle, moving from one class to another, walking home with my friends and all that, I shed off the weight and I actually became quite petite and my friends were like, what were you doing? Have you been exercising? Have you been doing this? But no, not at all. <clears throat> it wasn't that at all. So then when I finished high school and, you know, moved on in my early twenties, I had my daughter and I was kind of, um, I gained weight with the pregnancy and everybody was like, how are you going to lose the weight? My mom was like, how are you going to lose the weight? How are you going to lose the weight? How are you going to lose the weight? And I was like, why are people panicking? But I think with the breastfeeding and the fact that I was so young, uh, I bounced back really quickly, you know, within plus, you know, I went back to school again. Um, so I was kind of walking every day, moving up and down, um, and then I lost all the weight. I was actually at my lowest that I can ever remember. I was 59 kg after I gave birth to my daughter and I would, um, uh, make myself walk to the little college that I would go to and come back home. And that was kind of good for me, uh, at the time. Fast forward, as I got into my mid twenties, in my mid twenties, I started living a more sedentary lifestyle, you know, um, I was still going to college, but this time most of my work would be done on the computer at home. So I spent a lot of time just at home sitting and I wasn't walking around anywhere. I was driving around. So I just ballooned up, you know, uh, I gained about 10 kgs in three months. Actually, when I moved, I started saying in the CBD, the city center, whatever, I don't know. 
So I would walk to the gym and then it was winter time and it got so cold. I got discouraged from walking to the gym and I just said, nah, forget it. It's only three months after winter, I'll go back to the gym. And then in those three months, because in winter you eat so much, I was eating, eating, eating. And then I just gained about 10 kgs. I went back to the gym and everybody was like, whoa, what happened to you? And that was when my self-esteem really started going down. Everyone around me started saying, what are you eating? What are you doing? What are you this? What are you that? And then <clears throat> for some reason, I, I just even retreated more. I started gaining even more and more weight. I experimented with all kinds of crash dieting. I tried keto. I tried, no, I never did banting. I just didn't like the name, but I tried keto. Uh, I did fasting, but I'd never really did it right. And I remember I got really sick one time because I hadn't done enough research with the keto. And I got really sick with that low carb, that, um, they call it what, carb flu? Low carb flu, something like that. And I stopped altogether. And then there was actually a time when I, um, it was in 2018, I remember. I had just suffered a very painful miscarriage. And I looked at myself and I was like, no, I have to take control. This, the miscarriage, I couldn't take control of. But with my body, I have to take control. And it came from a place of loving myself. So I started fasting at the time I was doing an internship Well, it was at our company, but I registered it as an internship because I was doing a degree at the time. So I would go to work and eat only the food. And the funny thing is while I, I was so determined, we had lunch bought for us at work, but I would say, no, I would bring my own lunch, cook it the way I like it. And I would fast, you know, that five, two diet. I don't know if you're familiar with that. So I would fast for two days out of the week. I would eat only 500 calories for the whole day. And then the rest of the week I would eat normally. And normally it would be like 1,800 to 2,000 calories. But I wouldn't count calories. I would just count the meals that I would have. And then later on I decided, you know, this fasting thing is not for me. Because the time when you're fasting, it you just can't wait until you can eat and you're not productive, at least for someone like me. And um, then I just said, let me start count counting my calories. So I downloaded, you know, my fitness pal and I started counting my calories and uh, it, it calculated everything for me. <clears throat> at that time, I'd already started losing weight because I was 87 kg and I'd already come down to about 84. So at 84, that's when I said, let me just start counting my calories. So I eat what, what I would eat whatever I wanted. If I felt like pizza that day, I would eat it, but I would look at pizza recipes and then I would modify them to fit my calories and my macros. So I lost a ton of weight. I lost about 12 kg and everybody was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You look so good. You look so good. But I, I didn't feel deprived. I felt good. And I wasn't even exercising. I was just simply minding what I ate and make, making sure I log what I eat. So then in 2019, January, I discovered that I was pregnant, which was good news with my son now. And during the pregnancy, I thought, okay, let me maintain what I have worked so hard for. You know, lost all this weight. It wasn't easy. I feel good in my body. But for the first three months, I felt so sick. So sick that I couldn't cook for myself. And when you, you know, when you're dieting, you need to cook your own food. I couldn't cook for myself. I couldn't stomach just being in the kitchen. So I just had to take whatever people were eating. And I just lost it. But thank God I was still weighing myself. And then somewhere when I finally kicked the mor morning sickness, I thought, okay, let me now start counting my calories. Because thank God I hadn't gained, uh, I think I gained like a kg or so, even though I was eating, eating, I was eating burgers, pizza, whatever, whatever I felt like eating, but it was definitely unhealthy. So I, I had only gained one kg for some reason. So I was like, oh, so let me start counting my calories in my second trimester. I started counting my calories, watching what I ate. I was eating, okay, maybe about 1,800 to 2,000 calories. I went back to the doctor and the doctor touched my belly and he said, mm, 
this baby's a little small for, you know, how far along you are. So from that time, I said, no more cutting calories. I'm eating whatever I want to eat. After the pregnancy, I will do what I can to lose the weight. Because, you know, after losing a child, I'm not going to risk a healthy pregnancy because I'm trying to, to keep my body, you know? So then I ate, 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 ate away. By the time I gave birth to my son, I was 96 kgs. Woo! But, you know, don't be alarmed. It was Most of it was, you know, the liquid, placenta, all that other stuff, the baby himself. And then he, um, he when all that came out, I lost about 10 kgs in the first week. And then with the breastfeeding... Again came another challenge because I thought right after I popped this baby out, I'm really going to start um, doing it. But with the breastfeeding, when I started cutting my calories, my milk supply was dwindling. And at the time, I was still going to school. Uh, this was my final year and I was about to graduate uh, my degree. And I needed to pump so that when my husband stayed home with the baby, he would have uh, breast milk. So I found that when I started cutting my calories, the milk supply would go down. So I said, okay, let me stop. So now fast forward, he's now 10 months old. I'm not breastfeeding anymore uh, because he just refused to, 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 to breastfeed and I was still pumping, but then the pumping became very painful because the less he breastfed, the less milk I had until it came to a point where I would pump like two ounces all day, not per session, all day. So anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm just explaining because I know people are going to be like, you're not breastfeeding, why are you not breastfeeding? I, I stopped at some point, but he got a lot of milk. Now he's on formula. I'm thinking there's no reason. So I think uh, beginning of the lockdown, about maybe three months ago, I started really watching what I am eating or what, what I was eating. And then I lost, I was 87, 88 kgs. Now I am down to 83.5. That's still pretty big. I will be taking some before and after pictures and I'll also be including some pictures before the pregnancy of when I used this system. I call it the blank diet. The blank diet. And I will explain as we go why I call it the blank diet. Because everybody's like, it's the 5-2 diet, the revolutionary diet, the this diet, the keto, the Atkins diet, the this. This diet is called the blank diet. And I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day. I'm going to be sharing what I do. And you're going to be observing me as I lose weight. And hopefully you can learn something from it. So I just made a choice you know what? I want to start documenting my weight loss journey and keep watching, keep following, and I will be updating you. So I started at 87. I just started filming late, but I started at 80, no, 88 kg. Now I'm down to 83.5. So I will be sharing with you my journey, what I eat in a day, how I'm feeling that day, everything. So if there's someone else who is going through the same journey, they will learn from what I'm doing. So that's it for now. I will be letting you know. I'll, I'll decide whether I want to do it every day or every week or, you know, based on whatever I want to do. Maybe weekly, maybe daily, maybe too much, or two times a week or something. So, all right. That is all for now.